Welcome Zero Point Energy researchers and also easy3dbiz.com viewers. Some very good news on the device right here. I've wired all these Zero Point Energy batteries in series and basically this is what they look like. They're all covered in petroleum jelly. I've been powering this LED now for about three or four days. But the very, very interesting thing right here that confirms the Zero Point Energy effect is the energy is getting stronger. The energy is increased. We'll go ahead and measure the uh, energy coming off right now compared to the measurements last time. Now last time under load we had 1.61 volts under load. That was when it was freshly uh, started. So let's go ahead and hook the leads up here. Oh. Sorry about that, I'm not using a tripod, but I'm using a very temporary up here to study the camera. All right, let's go ahead and look up the other one. All right, you guys can see that, but we're at nine volts. And I really haven't even activated the battery yet by shorting it out like I should. But I, it's easily drawing 1.8, 1.79 volts. And as you can see, we're on the 20 volt scale, right here. So that's a comfortable one point, almost 1.80. And that's um, compared to 1.61 when it was freshly made. So it comfortably powers this, it gets brighter, and um, it'll uh, keep fluctuating. As you can see right now, it's starting to fluctuate a little bit right there. And you guys can see that 1.80. But uh, she's holding about 1.80 right now. But uh, she always gets a little bit stronger when I put light on it, which is pretty normal. But uh, yeah, that's the good news. As you guys know, uh, zero point energy in these sort of devices, the energy increases. The energy gets stronger and stronger, and that's what's happening right here. It's uh, actually increasing the uh, battery strength. But uh, that's very good. Um, once again, we've got petroleum jelly over all this, so it keeps out the uh, moisture. And that was one of the biggest factors that we had to overcome was the moisture. But um, one of the early problems I had also was I was using, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is uh, pyrite. Pyrite is a very, very good conductor of zero point energy also. But um, the problem with the pyrite was it was a sulfur compound and it was destroying the magnesium. So we solved that problem by using a, um alkaline, alkaline type sulfur. Well, the same same attributes as uh, pyrite, but it's alkaline based, so I get the same amount of energy. Anyway, I got some new supplies in. Um, I got barium sulfate, and also got titanium dioxide. And if you guys have been researching that, the um, these two compounds are very highly reflective. And barium, as you all know, if guys, if you re researchers have been researching um, Floyd Sweet's device, he was using a barium ferromagnetic magnet, and he was um, getting a huge amount of energy out of the magnet, uh, which was a barium magnet. So um, basically, I'm very, very happy with this device right here. It's doing very well so far, and I'm very pleased with its performance. It just keeps getting stronger and stronger, which is good, and it should last for a very long time, as long as everything is sealed up here. But um, the new materials are in. Uh, we're going to be researching those later on. But uh, so far, this compound seems to be working very, very well. And as usual, um, everything's uh, going according to the zero point energy, um, uh, basically, the concept of it. So, anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, ZZ3DBiz uh, coming to you live once again from uh, beautiful Southern California. Wishing you all a great, great research uh, weeks and days ahead, your zero point energy research. and. Thank you and have a wonderful week ahead. Bye.